Do you know how old I am? Do you know that every second of my life is precious? <laughs> yes. 2,700. 2,700, well. Mr. Enriquez, you are going to find some place cheaper to fix the bumper of your car than $2,000. Do me a favor, Bird. Would you please tell me all those? That there's that dealer-to-dealer, -dealer, private person, good condition, bad condition? It just says good condition, Judge. Good condition, and is that dealer-to-dealer? -dealer? Is that a trade-in? Is that private party? Doesn't That's say. That's not in this book. Oh, could I just see it? Sure. Yeah. So show me where it is. Mm, 1990 Honda Civic. 1900 Honda Civic, four-door sedan, in good condition. OK, good so it goes from 1350. Good condition is 2700. And top of the line, which your car does look like it's top of the line, it is 5250. So you're going to have to find a bumper job for this car for less than $2,000, Mr. Enriquez. Is that the amount that he told you it was to fix the car, sir? Yeah, well, Your Honor, at first when he spoke to me about the car and told me that he wanted to take it to a shop, the price that he quoted me was over $2,000. He said at that time that was the first shop that he had ever went to. And he said he wanted to check with another shop. It was days down the road when he communicated with me again and told me that he had found a shop for $1,600 or somewhere around that price. And as I told him at that time, I said, without the money, when you put the car in the shop, they want money. And I didn't have the money. So when he called you, he said he found the shop to do it for $1,600. Yes, you remember that conversation? I remember the conversation. Good. Better. We're getting better. He's going to find a shop that's going to do it for a thousand. It's a bumper on a whole car. That's how old? 1990. 27 years old. Judge him for the plaintiff in the amount of a thousand dollars. We're done here. Thank Your you. Honor, is there any possible way that we can talk about getting the car back? I mean, at, at this point, with the fees that are on there, they're going to sell the car in auction. And, what and do you want me to do? He's not responsible. I, I understand that, but he came to my house on the 31st and took the car before the third degree date that we were supposed to settle this issue. Oh, no. He kept calling you, sir, and you kept blowing him off. And I didn't ever blow I, Because him you off. didn't have money. I, because I didn't you didn't have him. money. As you just said to me, when you take your car into the shop, they want money up front, and yes. you didn't have the money. And because because of that, you know, I, I've lost several things. Yes, ma'am. But well, the car maybe being... I can't find that he's responsible for that, sir. You're well, responsible but... for it because you drove yes, the car without insurance, and that's a violation of the law. I understand. And you probably haven't had insurance for a while. But it's it's but for him to come to my house seven days before, and to grab the We're car. done. Parties are excused. You may step out. I don't think that is fair. The man took my car. I mean, he didn't have much to work out on another way. He, he took it without authorization. The only thing he had was the title to his car. He took it before the time that we agreed to, and now my car's sitting in impound. And he gave it to me. He said, I will, I will pay you. And it's going to cost me a lot of money to get it out. I said, you know, you better bring something legit to the table. It could have been done differently way differently than the way it was handled. So he said, I'll give you all the paperwork to the car. No good deed goes unpunished.